Get ready, folks, because Apple unveiled their M4, the most recent chip that powers the new iPad Pro with surprising performance. Watch the whole video, guys, because after the M4, I'm going to tell you about an interesting gadget that Apple revealed along with the new iPads. Okay, first off, the M4 is constructed using even more efficient second generation 3 nanometer technology. I think this was necessary to provide amazing performance in the incredibly light and thin iPad Pro design, as the 11 inch version is 5.3 millimeters thick, while the 13 inch model is slightly slimmer at 5.1 millimeters. You know, folks, the M4 can perform as well as the M2 while using only half the power. It seems that it also has a dedicated neural engine for accelerating AI tasks, making it an outrageously powerful chip for AI, according to Apple. But I guess we'll find out if all this really is so once users have truly tested these iPads, especially over a sufficient amount of time. Anyway, additionally, the Ultra Retina XDR display boasts remarkable brightness, color, and precision, made possible by the M4's brand new display engine, created with cutting-edge technology. You know, this new display offers 1,000 nits of full-screen brightness for SDR and HDR content and a peak of 1,600 nits for HDR. Then, storage configurations affect the CPU core count, with 256 gigabytes and 512 gigabyte models featuring a 9-core CPU, while 1 terabyte and 2 terabyte models get a 10-core CPU. And you know what, folks? There's even an option for nanotexture glass on higher storage models. I guess to reduce glare without compromising brightness or color. Moreover, I think the M4 gives the new Pro incredible performance. It expands upon the next generation GPU architecture that made its debut in the M3 and features a powerful new CPU. With six efficiency cores now available in addition to four performance cores and next generation ML accelerators, the new CPU outperforms the M2 in the previous iPad Pro by up to 50%. You see folks, the 10 core GPU architecture of the next generation is equipped with effective capabilities such as dynamic caching, it enables hardware accelerated ray tracing and mesh shading on the iPad for the very first time. With deeper execution engines for efficiency cores and wider decode and execution engines for performance cores, the next generation cores deliver much better branch prediction. Additionally, the M4 offers up to 1.5 times faster CPU performance. Whether using LumaFusion to apply difficult effects to 4K video or Logic Pro to work with complex orchestral music files, I guess it boosts performance across industrial workflows. Consequently, professional rendering tools like Octane will work at a speed of up to four times faster than M2. And of course, games like Diablo Immortal will look just amazing from your iPad screen. Moreover, I think Apple kept its industry best performance per watt while incorporating these architectural and performance upgrades. With only half the power, M4 can perform at par with M2. This is a significant increase in performance per watt and is ideal for the new Pro's lightweight and small design. Then, of course, the most sophisticated media engine available for iPad is found in the M4. Now, hear me out, folks. This new iPad now boasts support for a variety of popular video codecs, including H.264, HVEC, HEVC, and ProRes. Furthermore, it pioneers hardware acceleration for AV1, making a significant first for the device. So you can now enjoy high definition videos with better power efficiency. Now, Apple has high requirements for energy economy and the all new iPad Pro meets those standards and offers all new battery life thanks to the power efficiency performance of M4. As a result, it requires less time to be plugged in and uses less energy overall in its lifetime. Currently, the M4 can achieve the same performance with a fourth of the power when compared to the newest PC processor in a light and thin laptop. I guess that is the incredible power efficiency performance lead that we were all expecting. You know folks, I think the neural engine, or MPU as the industry refers to it, is another way Apple Silicon leads the market. One of the chip's IP blocks, the neural engine, is devoted to accelerating AI workloads. Even while the semiconductor industry is only now beginning to include MPUs in some of its processes, Apple has been integrating the industry-leading neural engine into their chips for years. 
With the release of the M4, Apple has its most powerful neural engine to date, with a staggering 38 trillion operations per second possible. That is an astounding 60 times quicker than the original neural engine found in the A11 Bionic. I guess the M4's neural engine, along with next-generation ML accelerators in the CPU, a fast GPU, and increased memory bandwidth make it an exceptionally powerful chip for artificial intelligence. It is even faster at doing incredible things, such as separating a subject in 4K video from its background with a single tap in Final Cut Pro. Given its degree of speed, the M4's neural engine is actually significantly superior than any neural processing chip present in any AI PC available today. Moreover, it seems that this new iPad Pro has made significant improvements to its camera system. The device now features a 12 megapixel main camera with an adaptive true tone flash, which has been designed to uh, enhance white balance when taking photos, particularly of paper documents. This camera setup supports 4K video recording across a range of frame rates, including 24, 25, 30, and 60 FPS, as well as ProRes video at 4K 30 FPS. Now, a quick break, folks. Consider subscribing to the channel if you think I'm doing a good job here. It supports me immensely and ensures you don't miss the next AI news. Moving on. Interestingly, the front camera is a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens that supports center stage, a feature that automatically adjusts the frame during video calls based on the number of participants and their movements. You see, folks, this camera is now positioned for optimal use in landscape mode, which is particularly useful when the iPad is used with a keyboard. Additionally, the iPad Pro includes a LiDAR scanner on the back enhancing 3D workflows and AR experiences by enabling more accurate environmental scanning. So, as you can see, folks, the M4 seems to be a state-of-the-art technology. And, I think, the iPad Pro could extend its dominance as the most efficient gadget of its kind with the M4. But that's not all, folks. Apple has revealed a gadget with the iPad Pro, the new Apple Pencil Pro, which introduces several innovative features. You see, it offers a squeeze gesture for switching tools and haptic feedback for tactile interaction when tapping or squeezing. This stylus also includes a barrel roll function that allows artists to adjust the orientation of pen and brush tools by rotating the pencil, streamlining their workflow in creative apps like Procreate. Then, another unique feature of the Apple Pencil Pro is the Find My functionality, making it easier to locate if misplaced. But I think the pencil is compatible only with the latest iPad Pro M4 and iPad Air models. Now, if that's not enough, Apple has been working on semiconductors that would enable artificial intelligence applications to function in data centers. As per rumors, although it's unclear if their efforts have had any beneficial results, Taiwan Semiconductor Company and the manufacturer of the iPhone have been working together on the design and fabrication of this chip. You see, folks, Apple's server chip is likely to prioritize AI inference over AI model training, an aspect where NVIDIA is anticipated to maintain dominance, according to expert projections. In case you didn't know, inference in artificial intelligence refers to the process by which proficient machine learning models draw conclusions from new data. In an attempt to break free from chip designs, several major tech corporations like Google have invested in the creation of their own AI inference server chips. Some analysts have noted that Apple lagged behind competitors like Microsoft in the AI race, even though Microsoft has made billion-dollar investments in AI technology. In February, CEO Tim Cook mentioned that the company was making substantial investments in AI and hinted at an upcoming announcement later in the year. I guess anticipation is building for the WDC conference in June, where this announcement is expected to take center stage. Let's see if Apple can join back in the race of AI. Okay, folks, let me know what you think about these AI features coming out of Apple, and subscribe to the channel and drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, don't miss our recommended video, and as always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.